Hello everyone. Today I got a few dirty jokes for you. So let's start it. Number one, three guys die and go to hell. Satan asks the first guy, what was your daddy when you were alive? He was a candle maker. So Satan burns off the guy's <laughs> Satan asks the second guy, what was your daddy when you were alive? He was a rope maker. So Satan rips off the guy's <laughs> the rope. Satan asks the third guy, what was your daddy when you were alive? The guy smiles and says, he made lollipops. <laughs> Number two, a guy walks into a bar with an alligator. It's about 10 feet long. The bartender flips out and says, hey buddy, you got to get that son of a out to here. It's going to bite one of my customers and I'm going to get sued. The guy says, no, 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 it's a tame alligator. I'll prove it to you. He picks up the alligator and puts it on the bar. Then he unzips his pants, pulls out his and sticks it in the alligator's mouth. The alligator just keeps his mouth open. After about five minutes, he pulls it out of the alligator's mouth and zips up his pants and says, See, I told you it was a tame alligator. Anybody else want to try it? The drunk down at the end of the bar says, Yeah, I'd like to try it, but I don't think I can hold my mouth open that long. <laughs> Number three, in the morning, little Johnny says to his father, Daddy, last night, I had my first counter. His father looks at him proudly and says, when are you planning to do it again? I don't know daddy ever since it happened my has been hurting like crazy. <laughs> Number four, a little boy wakes up three nights in a row when he hears a thumping sound coming from his parents' room. Finally, one morning he goes to his mom and says, Mommy, every night I hear you and daddy making noises and when I look in your bedroom you're bouncing up and down on him. His mom is taken by surprise and says, Oh, well, ah, well, I'm bouncing on his stomach because he's fat and that makes him thin again. And the boy says, well, that won't work. His mom says, why? And the boy replies, because the lady next door comes by after you leave each day and blows him back up. <laughs> Number five, there's a bunch of doctors gathered together at a doctor's convention one night. A male doctor notices a female doctor from across the room. The female doctor notices also and the next thing you know, they're sitting next to each other by the end of dinner. After dinner, the male asks the woman if she wants to go up to his hotel room. Sure, the woman says. Let me go wash my hands first. After she washes her hands, they have <laughs> After they are finished, she washes her hands again. This is really starting to annoy the male doctor so he says, You know, you must be a surgeon, because you keep washing your hands. Angry at this remark, the woman says, Well, you must be an anesthesiologist, because I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> Number 6 A woman heads to the doctor's office for her usual checkup. While there, the doc notices a strange rash on her chest in the shape of an H and inquires about it, Oh, my boyfriend likes to wear his Harvard sweater during <laughs> The next day, another woman comes in for a checkup. While there, the doctor notices a strange rash on her chest in the shape of a Y and inquires about it. Oh, my boyfriend is really into wearing his Yale sweater during <laughs> The next day, another woman comes in again for a simple checkup. This woman too has a rash on her chest and the doctor Catching on with the trend, asks, So does your boyfriend go to Wisconsin? The girl replies, Nah, but my girlfriend goes to Michigan. <laughs> Number 7 Little Johnny in math class One day Little Johnny was sitting in math class. The teacher asked him, There are three crows on a fence the farmer shoots one how many are left? Little Johnny replied, None. Confused the teacher asked again, Johnny, there are three crows on the fence, the farmer shoots one, how many are left? Johnny replies, zero. Teacher says, Ock little Johnny, how are you getting this? Little Johnny replies, if one crow dies, then the other two fly away, zero crows left. Teacher says, that's not the correct answer, but I like the way you're thinking. Little Johnny replies, 
Ok teach their three girls in an ice cream parlor. One is the cone, one is the cone, and the other is biting the cone. Which one is married? The teacher replies, I guess the one in the cone. Little Johnny says, no it's the one with the ring on her finger, but I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> Number eight, two little boys, one blonde, one with brown hair, were arguing over whose father could beat the other up. The brown haired kid said, my father is way better than yours. The blonde came back, maybe, but my mother is better than yours. That's what my father says. <laughs> Number nine, three men were caught for murder on same day. Very next day, they were produced in the court. After hearing all the arguments, the judge decided to declare the verdict after lunch. It happened to be his wife's birthday that day, and he had promised to not give death penalty on her birthday to anyone. After lunch, judge announced that all the three accused will receive 500 lashes. Since it's almost a death penalty, all accused were asked for their last wish. First one thought, as nothing can save him now, wishes for nothing. He is lashed 500 times all over his body. He was bleeding all over gasping for final breath and consciousness. When second person was asked for his wish, he thought for a moment and said, I wish that 10 pillow is tied all over me. Well, 500 lashes was given, but he laughed all over as pillow absorbed all the forces of lashes. Now, the third person was called and asked for his wish. He looked around. He saw first person facing his death and counting his last breath and second person laughing at first person calling him idiot. He took some time and with deep breath said, tie second person over me. <laughs> Number 10 a guy went to a casino and lost all $10,000. Swearing for the situation he goes to a taxi driver and asks, I have lost all my money. Please give me a ride back home for free. <laughs> off, no money no ride. The next day the guys come to casino again, and this time, he successfully won all the money back and $10,000 extra. Hai goes out of the casino happily and sees five taxes, and the last car is the one, which refused to give a ride for free yesterday. He goes to the first taxi and says, will you take me home for $100 sure, but when you take me there you'll have to do the as well off man. The guys goes to all next three cars and the story repeats. Finally, he goes to the last taxi driver, who refused to help a day ago, and says, Will you take me home for $100? Sure. Deal. But you have to pass through those other four taxi drivers very, very slowly. <laughs> Number 11, they were three men discussing how to make their wives to tell them if they cheated on them. The first guy says, I go home after work at night, lie on the couch, turn on the television and ask, woman you cheated on me today. Who? Me, my husband? Could I ever do such a thing? Pissed off as I am, I get up, put her down, punch her, and in the end she can't take it anymore and admits, I cheated on you with Nick. The second guy says, I do exactly the same thing. I punch her and finally she says, I cheated on you with Jake. The third guy says, I have no problem at all. I go home, undress, put the sweatpants on, light my cigarette on, I go out to the balcony, see the neighbor spreading clothes and shout at her, Mary, you are a And then she starts saying, I'm a or your wife who sleeps with John, Mark, Peter. <laughs> Number 12 Andy and Annie are watching one of those television preachers on TV one night. The preacher faces the camera and announces, My friends, I'd like to share my healing powers with everyone watching this program. Place one hand on top of your TV and the other hand on the part of your body which ails you and I will heal you. Annie has been having terrible stomach problems, so she places one hand on the television and her other hand on her stomach. Meanwhile, Andy approaches the television, placing one hand on top of the TV and his other hand on his With a frown Annie says, Andy, he's talking about healing the sick, not raising the dead. <laughs> Number 13 man comes home to find his 17 years old daughter with a up her. What are you doing? 
he shouts. Well, you won't let me have a boyfriend, so this is my substitute, she explains. The next night, the daughter comes home to find her dad with a blew up. He drinking a can of beer. What are you doing? She shouts. He replays, having a beer with your boyfriend. <laughs> Number 14, honey, said this husband to his wife. I invited a friend home for supper. What? Are you crazy? The house is a mess. I haven't been shopping. All the dishes are dirty. And I don't feel like cooking a fancy meal. I know all that. Then why did you invite a friend for supper? Because the poor fool's thinking about getting married. <laughs> Number 15, there was a camel and elephant. The elephant said to the camel, How come you have your on your back? And the camel got offended so he told the elephant. Well, why do you have your on your face? <laughs> Number 16, a woman walks into a shop to buy a After a few minutes of looking around, she approaches the clerk. Excuse me, do you have anything bigger? She asks. The clerk shows her a few items on the shelf. I'm looking for something bigger than those, she says. The clerk pauses for a moment. I think I might have what you're looking for, but it's expensive. Oh, that's fine, she says. The clerk leads her to the counter where he was sitting and pulls out a massive chrome cylinder. $500, he says. Oh, wow, says the woman. That is expensive, but it's perfect. The woman hands the clerk $500 and happily leaves the store. The store owner comes out and asks the clerk, So have you sold any No, but I sold my thermos for $500. <laughs> Number 17 Jack at the grocery store asks the lady to show him where the cookies are. The lady takes him to the bathroom and takes off her shirt and b and show her b Jack said, why you did you show me that? I wanted a bag of cookies, I didn't mean those cookie. Then and the lady said then, why didn't you say that you wanted the first cookie meaning, not the second cookie meaning? Then Jack said, why did you think I wanted to see your b in a grocery store? <laughs> Number 18, after a long day of winter sporting, we headed back to the ski lodge. As it was small, a cramped place to stay, we decided it was most fitting to sleep in the same bed. Myself in the middle and my two friends either side of me. In the middle of the night, the guy on the right woke up and said, I have had a dream where I was given the best ever. A few minutes later, the guy on my left woke up and said, I have had a dream that I was given the best ever. I replied, well that's funny. I thought I was skying. <laughs> Number 19, a well-known TV evangelist is booking into a posh hotel. He tells the duty manager, I hope the channel is set to disabled. The manager looks at him and replies, no, it's regular you sick <laughs> Number 20, a little while later Johnny's dad Here's a commotion coming from Johnny's bedroom. He rushes in and is horrified to see Johnny shagging his <laughs> Johnny just looks at him and says, not so funny when it's your mum, is it? <laughs> Number 21, there was this old woman who heard a song called Two Dips and Seven Kisses. She called up information after hearing the song on the radio to get the name of the record company. In dialing, she erroneously called up a gas station and she asks, do you have two lips and seven kisses? The gas station attendant who answered the phone said, No, but I have two nuts and seven inches. So the woman asked, Is this a record? To which the man replied, No, it's average. <laughs> Number 22 Robinson came home in great excitement and said to his wife, You'll never believe it, dear, but I've discovered an entirely new position for lovemaking. Really, said Mrs. Robinson, interested at once. What is it? Back to back. But that's crazy. We can't do anything back to back. Yes, we can. I've persuaded another couple to help out. <laughs> Number 23, one day there was a blind man walking down the street and he smelled oranges. So he bought some fruit. He smelled some pastries. So he bought some donuts. Then he walked past a fish market took a hard sniff and said, hello ladies. <laughs> Guys, these are few dirty jokes for you today. Hope so you enjoy.
subscribe to our channel for more videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.